the entire goal of this channel is that you don't really need me to come fix you. I mean, you kind of do, but you really just need you to fix you. And today, we, we, you are going to fix you. We, well, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna fix the three most common problems in the golf swing. You're gonna do it, it's easy. It's gonna be fun too, I can't wait. Now, today's video is brought to us by our good friends here at Hack Motion. What does my name do? Sensor, okay, Hack Motion. That's this wrist sensor. Here's the deal. I want you to be able to fix you for the lowest possible price. If you're interested in this, link below Hack Motion. But I also do not wanna give you anything that creates bad habits. Meaning this, so many times instructors give you, give us drills just because it's like, oh, that's a good drill. That's a popular drill. So many times, those things, some cause bad swing problems. And then you're, you gotta fight with that for the rest of your life. So I make sure that the drills we do equal proper swing fundamentals. So you don't have to think about this. But I wanna show you this as we do these drills so that you know, oh, it works. The drill works. And you can see truth in the drill. So I'm gonna wear this while we do this. Link below for this thing. Here we go. Full swing analysis is what we want. Look at this, they got a whole new UI. It's user interface, you can see right here. We got our flexation um, extension in orange and our uh, ulnar lateral rotation. And then there's a um, rotation in purple, that's this stuff. So a lot of cool things going on here with Hack Motion. And the new interface, I love it. It shows everything, that's everything. So what are the three most common swing problems in golf that we're gonna fix today? One is coming over the top. A lot of people come over the top. We're gonna fix that just like that. Two is this, we come out of posture here. We do this, we have an easy fix for that. And the third most common thing is flipping the wrists. We're gonna fix all three, easy. And you, well, you're gonna do it. And you'll be like, how come no one ever told me that before? First things first, over the top, how do we fix that? If you don't remember anything from this video, remember this one thing, okay? Subscribe to the channel, no, I'm joking, but Subscribe anyways. Okay, remember this, opposite resistance training. Just remember that, OPR, I just made that up. Opposite, OPT, it's not even R. Opposite resistant training. Here's what we're gonna do. So many times instructors tell you, okay, you come over the top, over the top. When you come over the top, this is what happens. You swing over the, over the top, the club's coming this way. Now, and you're gonna play a big slice. And look at my club path over there, negative 9.6. We look at our hack motion sensor. I mean, this is gonna give us wrist, con wrist con control where all our angles are at, uh, throughout the swing, which is pretty awesome. And you can go replay and you could just go through, see what happens in your wrist. What are your wrists doing when you come over the top? And you can just see your hands kind of release early. You're flipping and you're cupping. You're doing all kinds of bad things, right? And that'll tell you that. So we're gonna fix all that while we fix that. So here's the opposite resistance. All you have to do is this. So many swing instructors tell you, okay, you need to drop it down, which is true, but then they're, you're, you're trying to pull down. You don't necessarily want to do that. You want to feel this. The opposite resistance is this. That's what you want to feel, opposite resistance. So in order to not do this, I have to just basically hold this here. The easiest way to do that is if somebody's trying to push me in the direction I don't want to go. I don't want to go this way. So I want to push with my right hand this way and then force my body to hold it. That's opposite. I'm pushing the opposite way I want to go. 
I'm trying to push myself in the wrong direction. So just from here, get to your backswing and try to push yourself over the top with your right hand here, off your grip, don't do it on your grip. Do it off the grip, okay? So you're pushing yourself over the top and then with the rest of my body, I'm forcing myself to hold it. So I'm pushing and forcing myself to hold it. That's the opposite resistance. You're gonna start feeling muscles you never even knew you had because you're now feeling what you're supposed to feel. We're used to doing this. Now I want you to say, hey, I'm gonna push you over the top and just hold me from doing that. And if you need someone to push you, go get someone. Push and hold, 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 hold. And you only need to do that a little bit to get the feeling and then just take a backswing and pretend, imagine someone's pushing you and you're like, oh yeah, now I know what that feeling is like of resisting against the opposite force. Ooh. So that's what you're gonna feel. This and you're holding it back here and then you'll start coming a lot more from the inside. Ooh, I mean, that was way more inside than I'm used to. But look, you'll be able to tell, two degrees from the inside out now. I went from negative nine to positive two, and so will you. That is how you fix the over-the-top feeling just by pushing against, so you push back against it. You don't need any device that pulls you down because you will do the opposite, which is hold it up. And that's where we get into problems. We get devices that try to pull us in the correct position when we really need something to try to pull us in the wrong direction so that we're forcing our muscles to work in the correct direction. That's how we fix over the top. Moving on to number two. Number two is this. We come out of our posture and it causes a flip motion here. When we come out of our posture, we extend and our shots kind of look like this. A lot of them are thin because we're here and we do that and our weight's back as well and nothing's good. And if you look on your little sensor, if you're keeping track here, you got that last shot, you could see just a lot of extension. You'll be able to see what your wrists do during that swing and you'll just be like, that's, that's not very good. And you can even replay it and just kind of slowly look in like, ooh, that's not good. That's pretty bad. So you don't want to do that, right? And this will show you that. So with our ORT, opposite resistance training, how does that implement in this situation? Because here's what we want, our, this is what we're doing. So I want you to feel like someone's pushing your butt in. And so your job is to, is to fight against it. I don't want you just to push your butt out here because that's not gonna do anything. I want you to feel like someone's pushing you in and you'll resist it. Your muscles will get engaged in a way they've never been engaged before. And you'll just start pushing back against, you're trying to hold somebody. So I want you to imagine someone's pushing you from behind, okay? And so I'm pushing me from behind and I'm like, okay, let me, let me hold that back. And someone's also trying to push my head up and I wanna, I wanna hold it down. I don't want someone to hold me down. A lot of times we're like, hold my head. No, don't hold my head. Don't hold me from going up. Push me up so that I fight the other direction, right? You don't need someone holding you because you'll just go like that. Happens all the time. Instead, someone's pushing me from behind, trying to get me to go here. So I'm fighting back against them. Someone's trying to push me up, so I'm fighting to stay down. All right, so now we've already got piece one. We've trained that. Now we're, feel that, imagine it, and I'm like, okay. Oh, that feels weird. I feel like someone's pushing me against my butt and trying to push my head up. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep it down. You cannot do that to me. Ooh. And it'll start making a different sound off that club face. Well, that's a pretty good one. Now, that will most likely produce something that you don't want, but we're gonna fix it because that's the third most common thing anyways. And if we look at that one, it might be a little better, but we might get a little bit, yeah. See that impact here on flexation extension? So it's always the relationship between setup 
and impact. So we're at plus 38 at address and plus 23 at impact. So we've ex we have flexation compared to setup position, which is good, but it's only from 38 to 23. We're flexing it 15 degrees more than when we set up. That's important. And as you stay down, you'll have this tendency to early release. And that's what we wanna fix now because that's the third most common problem in the golf swing. You're gonna love this one because I don't think anybody tells you this. Here's what they say. What you need to do is hold your wrist, hold your wrist, hold your wrist. And they hold the club and you just pull it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that does is produce like a shank. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want them to hold it. No, we need to implement opposite resistance training. So what would that mean? You got it. That means someone's trying to actually push you to extend. They're pushing the club. So as you hold your position, as you dropped it from the inside, now someone's trying to do this and push it. So just push the club, try to release it. And then your opposite resistance training your arm. And you'll notice that as you do that, your elbow is going to bend. You ever see that Jordan Spieth hit balls, his elbows bent, a lot of great players, elbows bent. That's because they do stuff like this. They have this training, this strength to be able to not hold lag. You don't want that. You want to fight against this. So feel that and you're just holding it. Hold it. And your elbow's going to bend. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. It's a different level of control through impact. You only have to do that a, a, a little bit. Just come in here and start pushing it and holding it. I'm like, oh my gosh. And you're gonna work up a sweat. But here's what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. With your wrist angles, you're gonna be like, oh, that's interesting. Well, that felt good. And you start actually hitting the ball way before the ground. That was pretty good. But let's confirm the results to see if they're any good. Oh my goodness, what do you know? I went from 32, so pretty consistent address setup, to plus six. That's a 26 degree difference. That means from setup to impact, I flexed, I didn't extend. That's how you fix the most common problems in your golf swing. It's the opposite of horrible, it's fantastic. And you're fantastic. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.